Hey, Michael, overall, how did you feel about your outing today? Uh, I felt fine. I, th I threw a couple good sliders that I was happy with. Um, my changeup was there, but fastball command just wasn't uh, something I was struggling with, even in the bullpen. Um, I just felt like I was kind of opening up really quick, and, and it got me in some uh, disadvantage counts. And then uh, when I went to it in advantage counts, I got, I got burned. I know Glaber got me uh, twice on elevated fastballs. I was trying to and just didn't get it up there. Typically, when you don't have that fastball command, is that something that you're often able to correct in-game, or is that something that you need to do a little side work and get there for the next time? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I am able to correct in-game. It was just one of those things I was flying open early, um, and I, I, it was kind of in my bullpen. I wasn't getting it glove side, so then I was just kind of forcing it glove side by opening up early instead of just staying closed. Um, and that was a conversation I was having with Sam in the dugout, um, and – uh, yeah, if I had a couple more pitches, I, I guarantee I, I would have gotten it back. Um, but the, that third inning, I uh, probably got a little tired, and it just went right back to, to that flying open. Obviously, you were opposing him today, but what have you learned from Garrett Cole since uh, you know spring training and even this short time in summer camp? Yeah, I actually just uh, was texting one of my good buddies on the Mariners, Justin Dunn, um, about what Cole's taught us. And we're totally opposite pitchers. Like, he, he's that – fastball at the top of the zone with ride. Um, so he was saying, that, like, does he even teach you anything when you guys are totally different pitchers? But his slider is so electric, and mine is a work in progress. So that was, like, the main thing I talked to him about in spring training. Um, and the biggest thing that he actually said was don't throw it in flat grounds. Um, it's a totally different arm slot. You land earlier, so your arm's going to be a little bit later. Um, and you want, especially as a slider, you want to be out in front and be throwing it, executing it glove side down. Um, and in a flat ground, it's almost impossible to get that because your arm's so much later. Um, so that was one thing that I took, and I, I have definitely seen some, some strides in it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mike, thanks for taking the time. No earlier, today, earlier today, Clint talked about why he's wearing a mask on the field and why he plans to continue doing it. Have you at all played around with wearing one on the mound? Has that taken anything, been a consideration for you? And if it was, what was it like? Yeah, I, I have not uh, worn it on the mound. I mean, that's a very unselfish move by, by Clint, um, and, and he's talked about it a bunch. We definitely wear it all the time um, in the clubhouse whenever you're not really doing activity. It is very tough to be, like, full go, full effort, and almost not be able to breathe the, like, normal oxygen that you get. Um, and I feel like I'm comfortable on the mound because I'm not within, I don't know, right. I mean, it's like 14 feet of anybody. Um, so that's why I feel okay without it on the mound. Um, but yeah, I know like a, a lot of guys are, are right when they come into the dugout. Cause there are a lot of times where I'm walking definitely within six feet of guys in the dugout. And so right when I get in the dugout, you'll put it on. Um, I definitely give myself a little breather, um, to like catch my breath while I'm sitting down for a second. And then, um, it's all about protecting the team and kind of keeping everybody healthy. Um, so as long as we can do that, then I think we'll, we'll obviously have a good shot at winning a world series just because we got the talent, but. It's all if everybody can stay healthy. Thank you. Hey, Mike. Um, when spring training stopped in March, there were still two weeks to go uh, before the season started. Now you're inside of two weeks. You're 11 <laughs> days away. Are you starting to get a little feel for how well you're doing and the possibility of, of making this roster to start the year? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm just trying to do as much as I possibly can. Um, and like you're saying, when we were two weeks away in – spring training, I can honestly say I was definitely not ready. Um, as much as I wanted to be there, I, I felt like I, I had a lot of work to do um, on everything, arm slot, release point, um, with both fastball and slider. Um, I felt like the only thing that was benefiting with like a lower slot that I was doing was my changeup. Um, so this whole time has kind of brought me back to the confidence that I have in all my pitches. Um, and even when I am not executing, I know I, I hung a few sliders today, but the movement pattern I'm happy with, and I got foul balls instead of roped line drives like I was getting in, in uh, spring training. So I, I'm a lot more confident in my stuff, um, and, yeah, I'm ready to go.